G'day folks, uh, Jim here from Orchard Forex. It's Wednesday the 9th of September. Uh, I thought I'd do an update to uh, last weekend's video as uh, US traders have now returned from their holiday and we've got a sea of red on the trend table as you can see hinting at further possible downside pressure for risk associated assets and uh, possibly some pretty decent uh, trading opportunities in the days ahead. Um, as can be seen from the table which uh, you can refer to on a daily basis on the uh, website blog uh, the major interest uh, looks to be in the FX markets and as you can see the uh, US dollar uh, is uh, looking as though it's gaining strength. The dollar index is turning higher on all fronts and at the same time the Euro, Sterling, Aussie and Kiwi all look uh, pretty heavy and uh, I think there's a possible uh, opportunity for further downside uh, momentum there. Uh, elsewhere in the stock markets uh, the uh, S&P uh, is looking pretty heavy. The direction is actually being led lower by the Nasdaq and we'll go and have a look at the charts there in a second. And the other point of interest today, got gold and silver are pretty choppy, I'm not getting too involved there. Um, but uh, oil is looking increasingly heavy, it had a 5% sell off today and uh, that looks as though it uh, could, uh, could come lower. Anyway, without uh, further ado, we'll go and have a look at the relevant charts that I've uh, just pointed out. Okay, so starting with the euro, and that's uh, trading uh, 117.60, and it's sitting right on the uh, support level that we pointed out in the blog uh, yesterday on the website. Uh, it's trading between this 117.60.80 level, which uh, is reasonable support, and I think we are probably going to break lower though. Uh, and the next level on the downside would be seen down around here, where support really comes in in this sort of 116.90, 117.10 area uh, as uh, the 23.6% uh support tells us that uh, we, uh, we're going to see uh, some initial buy. If we do get below this or 116.90 level, this uh, low back here, then uh, there's not an awful lot and we can head back possibly towards the 38.2% uh, level. That's 115.35.40, that's a long way off at the moment. Uh, and in between there, I'd expect to see some support in this 116 figure 30 area. But uh, I don't think we're really going to do too much uh, ahead of the ECB meeting on Thursday, at which point it will go pretty bananas. And uh, I think the uh, ECB are going to be fairly dovish. And following uh, the uh, concerns of the ECB uh, chief economist uh, Lane last week about the strength of the euro, it wouldn't surprise me to see further uh, sounds coming from uh, Christine Lagarde uh, at her press conference suggesting that uh, the, uh, the euro is overpriced and needs to head lower. On the top side though, uh, I think uh, we can now probably sell a rally towards a 118, 118.20 if we see one and I'd keep a stop loss above this level here, so 118.65. So that's my point uh, of view at the moment. If we look at the dailies, they are also heading lower. We are on this uh, support but uh, I do think the, the momentum looks pretty heavy and I think we are going to uh, push to the downside. Uh, the weeklies also look as though they're topping out. They're, they're not really showing much momentum on the downside yet. And we are sitting right on this long-term support going, uh, uh, resistance turn support going back to 2007. So that, that's going to see some buying interest. And that's basically at current levels here. So uh, it remains to be seen. But I, I do think eventually this will pr to prove to be a false break. And we, uh, we are going to head a little bit lower. Uh, the other interesting currencies are the Aussie and the Kiwi. I'll just have a look at the Aussie today. The Aussie also looks uh, pretty heavy. The four hour charts are pointing lower as you can see and uh, we're currently sitting right above uh, support at 72 cents. Uh, I suspect at some stage that's going to give way and if we go and have a look at the daily charts uh, they're looking heavy as well so it seems to me the path of least resistance is to the downside. Um, and we've also got this bearish divergence uh, as you can see uh, we've got higher higher highs here lower highs in the uh, in the indicators so uh, it seems to me that we could come down here to test this sort of 55 uh, day moving average where the two uh, rising trend supports also lie and that's down around 71 cents now that's uh, some way off at this stage before then I would be looking for minor support at around uh, 71.65, which is pretty much where this uh, support comes in here, just uh, this uh, 38.2 level. So that's worth watching. And below, uh, below, below there can take us back to this convergence here, where the uh, these two 
uh, rising trend supports lie. Uh, on the top side, I guess uh, I'd be surprised now to see us back up up sort of 72 and a half today. I guess uh, you probably put your stop loss around 72.70. Uh, and we could even go up to yesterday's high at 73.07, but I don't think we're going there. Uh, and if, if we, as, as we do head higher, I'm still a seller into rallies, certainly uh, certainly with a stop loss placed above 73.10. But uh, really, uh, anything up to 73, I think it's probably a decent sell. Uh, looking ahead to the stock markets, and it's the NASDAQ leading the way lower. And it's uh, breaking down already in uh, Asia this morning. Let's go and have a look, quick look at the four hour charts. It's just breaking this 23.6% uh, FIBO support of this kind of long term post FIBO, uh, so post COVID rally. And uh, quite honestly, uh, it now looks to me as though uh, at some stage, we if we can get below this sort of 10,800 level, there's not really an awful lot to stop us going back to the uh, 100 day moving average which is, is uh, what that's uh, 700 points away, but uh, worth keeping an eye on, I think. And that same really applies to the S&P. And once again, the S&P is opening in Asia. It's only nine o'clock in the morning in Sydney. Uh, so the futures markets have just opened and it looks already as though uh, the, the S&P is pushing below the uh, New York close. So uh, the, the indicators all look pretty heavy to me. The four hour indicators, are uh, also looking heavy so as i said on my uh, blog on the website i think you know this uh, 33 uh, sorry 30 32 40 level is the, is the next target uh, we've actually i i had support at 33 40 which is basically where we closed the us session but uh, we're making a fairly rapid move lower in very early asia so the weeklies also are worth looking at because they're looking very toppish uh, and also We've got this bearish divergence. So I do think there's potential for quite a bit of downside movement in the stock markets, which is uh, basically going to follow through to the commodity currencies, in particular the Aussie and the Kiwi. And uh, we should see gold rally, but I'm staying away from gold at the moment. It's, uh, it's very choppy. The market's long expecting gold to go up. So uh, I think it's going to face some headwinds from some t tired longs who are possibly looking to cut uh, some of their risk out. But the oil market does look uh, particularly vulnerable right now. So here we have a chart of oil, uh, West Texas Intermediate. Now we closed the weekend sitting right on the base of this channel, but we've had a couple of uh, pretty uh, tough days and oil was down about 5% today. And it's come back to sit on this 50% uh, pivot here of the whole uh, move down from this high back up to the 50%. We, we went up, we tried to test this 61.8% of that uh, decline. So far we failed there, it's sort of 43 and a half. Now we're back here at 36.30 and sitting right on the 100 day moving average. Uh, I suggested this was a target yesterday, but I didn't really expect it to get there quite so soon. And now having reached that, the momentum indicators are pointing lower and hints that we could go down to meet this uh, neckline support uh, at uh, sort of uh, 34 and a half or so. This is a, a daily chart. So uh, yeah, 34 34 and a half and below that these lows here would come into action at around 30, 30 50. That's a long way off at this stage. I'm not looking that far out really. But uh, the weeklies which have been pointing higher are now kind of running out of steam. So uh, it, uh, it just uh, makes me a little bit concerned about the upside. And right now, if anything, I'd probably be selling into rallies to around sort of 37 and a half, 38 looking for a test of this 34 and a half uh, level. So uh, we'll leave it there for now. Just wanted this to be a quick one to point out uh, what I'm looking at at the moment. If the ECB do anything uh, surprising, uh, we'll come back tomorrow with another video. I actually think the euro will probably be lower by then, but uh, otherwise we'll do another video on the weekend. So look forward to seeing you then. Cheers.